I go to Baldwin Senior High School. Robbinsville High School. Horace Mann School. Bronx Center for Science and Mathematics. The Collegiate School on the Upper West Side. I go to NYC High School. We only accept the very best and the very brightest, so congratulations to those of you who were uh, admitted here. We're studying oxycodone and um, how people get addicted to it. My research is in the lab of Dr. Gunter Bobel. Uh, he actually won the Nobel Prize in 1999. But my research specifically was looking at messenger ribonucleic acid and how that influences its fate in the cell. Your DNA is actually pretty important, <laughs> believe it or not, so your cells need to be able to repair it. So I study the mechanism of repair. My research is looking at oxycodone and how that would affect male and female mice differently. I work in the laboratory of molecular metabolism in which I study obesity and type 2 diabetes and the connections between the two. My research was about kombucha, which is a drink known for its probiotic properties. So what I was trying to figure out is what kind of yeast and bacteria are present in commercial kombucha versus homemade kombucha. I was learning techniques and really getting to work with lab equipment and lab, lab interfaces and lab experiences that, you know, is unparalleled in, in a high school setting. One of my very first lessons is that there's going to be error in conducting research and one of the most important qualities of being a scientist is patience and perseverance. It's all part of the learning process and that's taught me not to be afraid of mistakes, to be, be encouraged, be learn from them and then move on. Through working with my mentor and um, the other students in this program, I kind of found a community of people who like science just as much as me and are committed to kind of learning and teaching science. When I came into this program, I wasn't sure I wanted to be a scientist. I've always had an interest in it and I've always really liked the way that scientists view the world. But it's really, it's really cemented that fascination for it. Like I know I'm going to be really heavily considering it as a career choice because I just, I had a great time. There's just a lot of opportunities for everyone to do science and you shouldn't just have this one image of a scientist. It's just, it's for everyone, anyone can do it.